Hello, I had to delete some videos and I apologize for the noise in the background, but I finally ordered pocket sleeves for my album photo cards and the Ultra Pro 9 pocket sleeve thingies. And I didn't think it really mattered which pockets that I needed, but now that I looked at it and the quality of it, it's actually really good. So um, this is kind of like me showing my binder, but oh, you can't see all of it. Oh no! Okay, after a lot of trial and error, I finally found an angle that was good enough to fit all of them. So, I have like my first sleeve right here, and then I transferred all my photo cards into the protective sleeve. So, oh, it was a lot of work to do this, but I hope my camera doesn't fall or anything like that. My pocket page is like an old one from Staples, so I'm glad I don't have to use that anymore. And yes, as you can see, these are all my 17 photo cards. Um, I didn't trade for any of them. I just kept my pulls. So yeah, this is from the You Made My Dawn and You Made My Day era. And I don't know, because I never expected myself to be the type of person to start collecting. Uh, just because my friends didn't really do it. And... One of my friends was like, oh, you know, I'd like to see myself try and pull all the members randomly, you know? And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until uh, this quarantine, I started watching collection videos and I sort of got kind of addicted. So I thought I would start collecting for NCT at least because I already have all the albums like for Renjin for dream yeah so for 17 we'll use my bias um honestly i'd be down to trade for him there's just a lot <laughs> to trade for but uh before i would only trade if it was like a photo card that i really really liked but these all of these are my natural pulls from the you made my day albums i don't know i i find these types of videos really calming to watch so and this is my natural pulse for the you made my dawn as you can see it's very uh woozy centric i am a huge woozy and joshua magnet and i feel like you'll see that in the next part after this so yeah so um bts was my was the group that actually got me into k-pop and then after that, um, I started getting into Seventeen because of my friend during Thanks era, or a little bit after that. And from then on, I've been a carer ever since. And one is my bias, by the way. <laughs> um, honestly, I'd be down to trade for any of these members if you really wanted them. Like, if these were your bias, you know, just like let me know. <laughs> And I'd totally be down to trade with you because even if, like for example, my friend who got me to 17, she's a Joshua stan, and I am known as a Joshua magnet. So every time I pull a Joshua, we'd literally, I'd always just trade with her no matter who she gets. So, and like with Wanu, whoever she gets, like whenever she gets Wanu, she just trades with me no matter what. So it's kind of like a little unspoken type of thing between the two of us. It's so pleasing to do this, I don't know why. Um, I got these sleeves on Amazon, by the way. People always raved about the dragon sleeves, but I couldn't find any on Amazon. At least ones that were clear, because I like the clear ones more. So... Ah, oh, and then it's an ode! A great album, by the way, and I traded for this one new and i traded for this one new. yeah so at the time as you can see i only traded for the members that i've for, like one new's photo cards if it was like super cute and this is the super cute one new photo card oh this is one of my favorite photo cards of Sok. oh he's so cute i feel like all of the hope photo cards are absolutely adorable literally to die for I wish I could like have all of them, honestly. Like if not 
any collection, just that collection. I wish I had all of those. Because are you kidding me? All the photo cards of them being outside and all cute with their blush. Do you see this? It's absolutely fantastic. Oh. So among 17, um, I would say Jun, Minghao, Wuji, and lately, Sungwan have been really good bias records. So look at him. Ah, so cute, literally so cute. And then I have this Joshua. I'm gonna trade with my friend, obviously. But the amount of Joshua I pulled from this album was kind of insane. Like including the, the little mini photo books and the little fold out posters. I pulled so much Joshua. It's kind of crazy. Oh, and then I pulled two John stickers. Hello again. Oh my god, I apologize for the cutouts, but I'm filming on my iPhone and I don't have storage, which is literally every person's problem every time they film on an iPhone, so. I don't even remember what I was talking about, so I, I just like deleted a bunch of stuff from my phone, a lot of apps, but then I'm gonna re-download once I'm done filming again, but... <sighs> I really don't remember what I was talking about, but... Yeah, so if you wanted any of these photo cards, just like... I don't know, send me like... a direct message or something, and then we can talk about it. I'm not looking to sell any of these, I'm just looking for like trades, I guess, like for an equivalent. Like any type of equivalent of these cards I'm down for. Also, I realized that like I had a sleeping mask on my desk while I was putting these away, so I'm like really sorry for that. Yeah. I love this photo card of Tongan. Oh my god, look at how cute he is. Oh, I also ordered the Fallen Flower albums through like a uh, Go order. Spring Spring Blo Spring Blossoms, I think. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know them, but they are a Go organizer in Twitter. And I ordered the 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 versions that are bigger. I ordered both of those. I think it's called the C version and carrot version. I might be completely wrong, but yeah. So I ordered those and I got... Those come with the photo cards already out, so it's unsealed. And I got the a Wuji one and a Minghao one. Look at one. Oh my god, I got so excited when I found a trade for this. I think I originally pulled S Coops. But look at him. Literally one of my favorite photo cards of him ever. I needed that. Oh, this is just a freebie. I actually traded one of my an ode photo cards, which was Sokmin for a mark card that's coming on the way. A mark card. Cause someone was trading their mark collection. And they collected Sokmin and Wonu. So I did like a trade with them. Oh my god, once my carrot friends hear about this, I feel like they're I'm not gonna hear the end of it. But I traded my like Wonu Lenticular from the You Made My Dawn albums, like those inclusions, and like uh You Made My Dawn inclusion, like the little folded poster thingies of Sokmin. And then one Sokmin photo card because I really wanted to collect the three PCs that three mark pieces that she had and yeah so those are on the way which is really exciting i was kind of surprised that she said yes which made me really thankful for her saying yes um because i don't know i just wasn't expecting her to say yes so i gave up one of my unknown photo cards i know so sad but oh my god these are literally my prized possessions Look at this one photo card. Oh, stunning. And I'm holding a carrot. I remember seeing this photo card and like weeping about it, how I wanted to be the carrot or something. 
but yeah my friend was actually studying in japan for the summer and he found these in like a in an album store in japan and i was like and then i think and then he, he was like oh my god Gian, do you want these and i'm like yes i do want them and they fit in the sleeve so perfectly Ugh, these are literally my prized possessions and so he got them for me which is absolutely insane and he actually also found this oh wait hold on these cards are the haru 2019 japan tour cards which is absolutely insane i see people selling these for really expensive on ebay and then this one my friend went uh like touring in japan and in a tower i think it was in the tower and he said he found like someone lost this there like someone lost this on the tower and he found it so this is the happy ending showcase and i have the group photo which is absolutely adorable and i just like feel bad for the carrot who lost it and it and it's like now in my possession in america like i don't think the carrot even knows how far this card is away from japan so i just think it's kind of insane but yeah he got all those for me which made me really thankful and uh, my chonon photo card from the real version oh my god i just see a huge stack of like 17 photo cards it's crazy And then this one. This is my Sungwon Limited B version of the Happy Ending album. It's kind of funny because I I asked my same friend who went to Japan to buy me um, a specific Japan album because I wanted this photo card. Oh my. And he was making sure he knew which one to buy, and I was making sure I knew which one to buy because I had no idea as well. And I told him to buy. I don't even remember which version it was supposed to be, but I told him to buy that version. And then he double checked with me and he took a photo of the album and he was like, Oh, is it this version? And I was like, Oh yeah, totally, totally. And then like a couple like only last week I noticed that we both actually got the wrong version. But I confirmed to him that it was that album, so it was also my fault. But yeah. Um but the thing is, I bought the photo card that I really wanted, so yeah, I just have this one and that Japanese album on my shelf. And it's just sitting there, I don't really know what to do with it. But yeah, here's my... Wow. Oh my god, this is kind of crazy. Here's my stack of 17 photo cards. Oh, it's, it's so thick, oh my god, it's kind of insane. And then here's my really sad mark collection. Not really, actually. I only decide- I only like recently decided to collect Mark just cuz for fun because I was literally almost done with collecting Rinjin so I was like why not I collect Mark 2 and then here I am I actually originally- oh, I originally pulled Johnny for this one and my friend who is a Johnny stand pulled Mark so it was the perfect arrangement and then I pulled this one naturally, which makes me really happy. And it was also the first NCT album I ever bought, Neozone. I remember calling Target the night before, asking them if they were going to put Neozone in Target, in our Target. And then the lady was like, oh, I don't know, maybe call in and check tomorrow. And I didn't call in and check the next day, I just went the next day and I just found it, so. And then I bought it, and then the lady in the registry was like, Oh, these are selling today? And I was like, oh yeah, totally. And then she was like, oh, some girl called yesterday <laughs> about this album or something. And I was like, oh, pff, that was probably me. <laughs> and she was like, oh, okay, I see. And I thought that was really funny. I traded, uh, I'm trading, I'm currently in the process of trading for the circle card, so. Yeah, so I'm actually trading this Jungwoo for a mark, so if you really want Jungwoo and have a mark, please let me know. <laughs> a lot of people ended up pulling that card actually, I noticed. So, Oh, and I pulled this one naturally as well. Oh, he's so stunning. 
That is my Super M card. I had a trade for this. This was when I started standing uh, NCT, would you believe? And this is when I declared Mark as my bias, which is kind of funny, which was a whole process actually. Oh, and this one, I traded a Tim and PC from Wee Boom, an extra one that I had to get this card, which is really cool. Because I heard it's hard to find this. Oh wait, I literally have a video talking about it, so. This is my Jisung Wee Boom Circle card. Please give him a new home. I, I don't, I don't know what to do with this card and I, I really want it to go to someone who really needs him. And Red June! Actually, this is a sticker. I'm missing Renjun's Boom, like Boom version PC and Renjun's Kino. These two are on the way. This one's kind of a complicated thing that's happening. It was supposed to be here literally like last Friday, but all of a sudden it just took a detour. I don't know why. And I've been trying to get on the bottom of it through the UPS like systems. Oh, there's already sleep here. I didn't know that. Okay through the USPS systems, but they are not really responsive right now. So yeah. I'm so happy that this collection is only almost complete. Like, I'm so happy with it. And I know that, I don't know, some, some people album inclusions may not be a lot, but I don't know, it means a lot to me. Cause oh, this photo card is gorgeous. Oh my God. Literally all of Renjun's photo cards are so pretty. It's kind of not fair how pretty he is. I remember I was like wild in about it yesterday. It's probably one of my favorite photo cards of him as well. Literally all of oh, literally all of them are my favorite photo cards. This photo card was the last I needed to complete my collection. And I completely understand why it was so hard to find. Like, look at him, are you kidding me? He looks so beautiful. Oh. I'm just sad because I don't know what's going on with this PC in the mail. Oh, you can hear the rooms outside. Oh, and I love this PC of them. I just wish they didn't put their names. Like, I don't understand why they had to put their names on the photo card. Like, we know their names. Like, you don't have to worry about that. Thanks, though. I don't know. I just would have preferred it without the name, I guess. And then just missing these two. And then here I was trying to prepare for my Raiden collection, I mean Reload collection, but I didn't have any nine sleeves yet, I mean anymore, so I stopped then. And then I just got this because it was like being sold for $2 and it was Renjun. Actually no, this was being sold for $1 and it was Renjun, so I was like, I need a cop, it's Renjun, so and then I copped. And then I have their season greetings which I'm absolutely in love with. Um, I was thinking of making like a full page spread of all of them because all of these photo cards are absolutely beautiful. I'm actually really happy I got this season's greetings. I got it for like a cheaper price also, which makes me really happy because I'm, I don't really like spending money. But yeah, the, the Polaroid concepts here are so beautiful. Especially this photo card. I remember I got the season's greetings just for this, like honestly. I was only gonna buy a Ren June photo card set, but then I decided to just get the whole thing anyways. And I honestly like, I like, love it, so. I don't think it's
thing to talk about. All I know is that literally all my alts are having a comeback soon, which is absolutely insane. Oh, you might be wondering why I don't have any like wavy items. Just because I don't have any of their albums yet, I wanted to like slowly build up my collection, you know? And I thought Wavy had like the least albums, so I had the least to worry about for now at least. And I'm not really sure who my Wavy bias is yet because, uh, because I actually went to the Sperm concert and 10 really just, whew, 10 was absolutely like, he looked like an angel on stage. It was absolutely crazy. And I don't know, I was kind of questioning like, who my bias was for a second. Like he made me question <laughs> my bias if it was Mark. But for Wavy, I'm really leaning towards Xiao Jun. Cause he's so, <sighs> I love his voice a lot. And like even before I knew all their names, I remember he was the one who caught my eye even in the SM Ricky's video. But some people who've been like climbing up my list is definitely Hendry and um Yang Yang. So stay tuned and we'll find out. Oh hot and shy. I just hope I don't get broke because I actually quit my job once the whole quarantine thing started happening just because I didn't really feel safe anymore in that environment like uh, I didn't think they were handling the health procedures properly in terms of the quarantine so I and I felt like that they were putting their like they didn't really put much emphasis on caring for the employees as much that's just my opinion though um it might have changed now because i still have a couple friends who still work there but i felt like it was a good idea quitting but at the same time i'm like spending even more money than i've ever <laughs> done before like i don't even spend money on clothes or anything i just spend money on albums and food and boba, of course. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god, it's just like a little heart on the bottom. That's absolutely precious. Oh, I actually worked in the boba place, by the way. So I'm like a boba expert. Not to like, to my own horn, but I'm... I'm a bobarista. I would say I'm a, I'm a pretty good- I'm a boba connoisseur, like, actually. And I've made boba at home, too, like, from scratch. And it's not an easy process. Oh my god, it absolutely hurts. And it took forever, it took hours. Just because it was, like, full of trial and error, but it tasted amazing. sleeves in already oh it's so pretty and i'm just gonna put 17 first just because oh i realized i should have done this backwards but that's fine i'm i'm planning to do it in the same order than it was before so this isn't really like a reorganizing video
it's time for NCT. I actually have something in the mail for me right now and I might as well just open it now and just like include it in my other video because I think this is Mark. This is either Mark or Wanu actually. Okay, this is actually the photo card I was looking for. For, um. Oh my god, you're kidding. You are kidding. Look how absolutely gorgeous he is. Oh my god. <gasps> Okay, wait, you don't understand. I've been wanting this photo card ever since it came out. Thank you, Tara, for selling this. Oh my god, it's absolutely stunning. Oh my god, oh my god. That's actually perfect, because now I can put it in my... my binder. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, you're joking. This is literally the photo card I've been wanting for so long. It's from their happy ending. I think this is like literally one of my favorites, my favorite photo cards that one who's ever taken. And I'm so happy it's in my possession right now. And I got it for a pretty de decent price for a Japanese album photo card, I would say. And I can't believe it's already here. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so shocked. That's amazing. Oh my God, it completes the photos really nicely. Oh my god, that's absolutely amazing. Okay, um, now I'm good to do my NCT.
and I have to prepare for my um, oh, write-in PCs. So I've been pondering how to set it up. And I decided to do like another two page spread like this for each version. So it's gonna be like the write-in version and then the other one. It's gonna be the roll-in version. So I already have some sticky notes prepared. Hee hee hee. And I did like every other sticky note. But I decided that I'm gonna do it front ways first, at least for the sticky notes, so I can see. Oh my god, it's upside down again. <sighs> <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Alright, so I decided to do a full, sorry for the glare, a full like, oh I finished by the way, <laughs> so I decided to do a full like flip through of how all of them look like. Um, I might do another video where I finally make like dividers for each group, but I also might add little cover slips in here, so I'm just going to do a flip through. You made my dawn, you made my day, you made my dawn. An ode, poet, and hope version. An ode, hope, and real version, I think? No, not real version. A uh, truth version. And this is an ode plus Japanese PCs. Uh, but for the ode, it's the real version. And then my Wonu Happy Ending PC, Sunglan Happy Ending PC, my Haru cards, and my Happy Ending Showcase card. And then here's my teeny tiny, really small mark collection, but I'm gonna grow, hopefully. Um, if you guys wanted Jungwoo, let me know. Also, Jisung. Here's my Renjin collection, two coming on the way. And then I have the Dream Seasons Greetings, 2019 Seasons Greetings. I love how this looks so much. And 
I have the soon to be writing collection and then the loan collection for reload. So thank you for tuning into my video. Uh, sorry for the cuts, the jump cuts, but yeah, this is going to be it for my K-pop binder reorganization video. So thank you for watching. Bye. I don't know how to say bye. So bye. <laughs>